I always felt like you, you went against conventional w wisdom in, this, in the game and the, and the way you approached everything, even when you bring up being signed to Jay, you never really leaned on Jay. Right. This album having, you know, really no features and then really exclusive collaborations. Why was that important for you to do this album that way? It wasn't on purpose. It's never on purpose. What happened was, by the time I knew it, I had the album finished. I got rid of all old pressures that people think is the right way. All these old questions. Mm -hmm. What's the single? Uh, how long do you put the single out before the album? What's the radio spin? Uh, who's on the album? They always ask that in the mm -hmm. interviews. That's old. Yeah. That's old, bro. Yo, this Noble Ann Pooh, the urban guru, one half of the priesthood, hip hop astrology on Twitter, and hiphopastrology.com. Now, notice how Sway said that J. Cole went against conventional wisdom. It is a fact that J. Cole is an Aquarius. It's a fact that Aquarius keyword is unconventional, do things differently. It is a fact that Aquarius represents humanity. It's a fact that Aquarius is the rebel. Thus, Bob Marley had rebel music, you understand? So, since J. Cole is an Aquarius, who by the way, on his last album, his second track was called January 28th, which was him honoring his birthday. That was him honoring his celestial connection with God. January 28th, the sun is an Aquarius. So Aquarius deals with humanity. And this is why J. Cole was on the front line in Ferguson with the camera. This is why J. Cole is at the 20th anniversary of the Million Man March. This is why J. Cole gives the appearance and really don't care about money in the traditional sense in the way that everybody else care about it because he's for humanity. He's about the higher evolution of consciousness. That's what air signs do. So when you see J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar, who's a Gemini, you're gonna see ideas, communication. You're gonna see things just flow all day. Just like how we do over here in the priesthood, hip hop astrology, Aquarius and Gemini. We saw the same thing with Outcast, Aquemini, two air signs. When they get together, it's nothing but ideas and great things. So big shout out to J. Cole for being the Aquarian man, being Aquaman, representing his celestial archetype. We in the Aquarian age for the next 2,000 years. You dig? I am Ampu, the urban guru, ambassador of the Aquarian age. So get at us, Hip Hop Astrology on Twitter, hiphopastrology.com. You can also get at me on Instagram, Real Urban Guru.